San Juan del Sur. And why are we going to Managua? Ah, well, we are staying there for one night by the airport because tomorrow we are flying from Managua to the Corn Islands. Very soon we are starting the Caribbean part of our journey and I cannot wait. Woohoo! We will be in the Corn Islands for two weeks. One week in Big Corn and one week in Little Corn. And if you haven't heard about the Corn Islands, you should go look them up right now. Google that right now. Do it. So we're about two hours in and I finally got a seat. We're almost to Managua. Welcome to Managua, Nicaragua. We made it! International Airport in Managua, Nicaragua. But we are not flying international. Check no. out, check out this boarding pass. This is a boarding pass. It's like <laughs> it's laminated. It's reusable. It's eco-friendly. Your name's not on it. <laughs> <laughs> so that is our boarding pass to get on our flight to the Corn Islands, which is a an island off the Caribbean coast in Nicaragua two islands, Big Corn and Little Corn. We can only fly into Big Corn. We're going to spend one week there and then after one week we're going to take a boat one hour out into the Caribbean from Big Corn to Little Corn for New Year's. And I also want to just show you guys the difference in between the international terminal where, we in, where we're in right now and here is the national terminal at the airport in Managua, Nicaragua. Is this the smallest plane you've ever been on? I think so. We took a plane in Thailand. Um, it's really small, but I think this one's a tropical dreams um, so it's like a little house and there's a bunch of rooms in the house and our room is kind of just off the house we have AC for the first time in, in a while it's very very nice how about them roosters don't get me started so the, the place is great the only downside is that uh, apparently the next door neighbor uh, raises roosters for fighting um, so uh, they're pretty aggressive and that reflected in the noises that they were letting out since three o'clock this morning let me just say like this is our first full day in Big Corn Island 
it feels so different from the mainland of Nicaragua. For sure. People speak English here. They also speak Mesquite. And, you know, that's a language I've never heard before. It's a whole different culture. You can feel it. You can sense it. And to be honest, it's, it's, it's a welcome change. You know, we've been in Nicaragua for a little while. This is something new, something exciting for us. Yeah, and um, there are two distinct cultures here. There is the Creole culture and there is the Mesquite or Mesquito culture, which is the, the indigenous culture here. Does it remind you of anything, hon? Uh, well, my mom and my mom's side of the family are from Jamaica, and it reminds me so much of Jamaica. Um, it's super Caribbean here. It does not really feel like Nicaragua to me anymore. It feels much more like Jamaica. Uh, people have that island accent, um, and there's greenery and banana trees everywhere. It's wonderful. Something to note about the Corn Islands is that since we are on an island, everything needs to be imported. We're pretty used to the very cheap groceries and vegetables of the ma from the mainland. It's not the case here in Corn Island. Veggies and groceries are more expensive and you have a much more limited selection. Check out these coconut breads, guys. It's like a type of roll. So one of the biggest exports here in Big Corn Island is actually lobster. I want to go check out the local seafood market and I was told that I should come to Pacenic, which is the seafood company. Let's check it out. Here's Pacenic. See what kind of selection they got, what the whole setup's all about. So, as you guys just saw, I went into the Pacenic Fish Company to buy some fish here in Bitcoin Island. And it was a very strange experience. Usually when you go to a fish market, you'll just see everything kind of laid out on the table. You choose the fish you want, you pay for it, you walk away, no problem. This one, I was like, there's a big gate, there's a security checkpoint, I was forbidden from filming. I never saw all the fish, I just kind of got a ticket and gave it to someone else and they came back with this frozen one pound yellowtail, which I'm sure is going to be delicious, but it was kind of a weird experience. I think there's more going on there than what meets the eye. That cab smelled like cheese. Um, I think I'm still recovering. <laughs> yeah, that cab smelled pretty interesting. But we made it. All the cabs on the Corn Islands, at least on Big Corn, um, they're a dollar a person, uh, no matter where you're going. So that's great, it's convenient, and cheap. So we took a cab out to what is called Picnic Center. Um, it's a cute spot you can see behind me. It's a cute spot to come out, enjoy the water, have somewhere to like sit, get a drink, get a bite to eat. Um, yeah, it's a little gloomy today. Apparently, for today and part of tomorrow, we're having a bit of a tropical depression. So, hopefully, we'll get some good sunny beach days in a couple days. I think I know how to cure that tropical depression. That's healthy, right? So just so you know, the month of December is considered like a shoulder month in between the rainy season and the beautiful sunny hot season here in the Corn Islands. It's December, so it's kind of hit or miss. Maybe you can tell behind me, but the weather has not been collaborating. Wah, wah. So we haven't had our beautiful sunny beach day yet. It's been raining off and on for like several days and we kind of getting cooped up in our room. But uh, today's exciting because I'm gonna go try, get this, the rundown. The rundown is like the dish of the Corn Islands. From what I gather, it's some sort of like soup or stew in coconut milk with lobster, fish, and conch. So we're gonna go pick up some rundown at this lady's house. I don't exactly know where it is, but I'm hoping a cab driver's gonna know what I'm talking about. So I am here at the famous Miss Danette's house. This is where the most famous rundown on Big Corn Island is made. I'm super excited, so excited for this, guys. So this is the famous Miss Danette. Miss Danette, do you wanna describe your very famous dish to us? Okay, our rondon is our typical dish. That's how people used to live first on the island because we didn't have no importation, no exportation. So we used to live by the sea, earth plantation. So the rondon is made of fish, lobster, conch, coconut milk, 
with green banana, plantain, yam, and green but green banana, yucca. And it how is, long have you been making it here for? Oh, my restaurant has nine years, and I'm making it for nine years for people. Everybody likes it because it's natural. Everything is natural. Wonderful. Very fresh. Banana has to be from the bed. The fish has to be fresh. So I've picked up my rundown, uh, and I brought it back to our Airbnb. This doesn't taste like the Caribbean, then I don't know what does. Check this out. So we got some conch. We got a lobster tail. We got some platano. And we got a red snapper and some coconut milk base. I am ready. To be honest, I'm a little hungover today. So this is the kind of soup I really want. Mm-hmm. 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 That snapper, I just had some snapper yesterday, but I can't get enough of it. This is my first try of some nice Caribbean lobster here, Big Corn. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah. So good, full of that, full of that wonderful coconut milk and all the spices in there. Mm. Good morning, everybody. After four days of nonstop rain here in Big Corn, we finally have a day of sunshine and kind of pretty blue skies, I'd say it's pretty good. Uh, we decided we want to do some snorkeling because the reef here is world and renowned for its beauty and for its biodiversity. Um, we have come down to the Dos Tiburones dive shop and we have our own snorkeling gear and we're just going to hop into the water right behind Dos Tiburones. There is a beautiful reef. You can see how clear and below the water is. How's it taste? It's nice. Definitely different than the regular gallo pinto. There's like a slight, slight sweet, savory essence to it. It's really good. We are at Casa Canada. It has the only infinity pool on the Corn Islands. And we have a lot of time here. We are staying on Big Corn for nine nights, I believe. Um, so. We had to find things to do. One of the things to do is to come out here. We pay 200 cordobas each to lounge around at their pool um, and enjoy the gorgeous views of the ocean right behind it. They also have a bar and restaurant that you can enjoy, but you don't have to order anything if you want to just come and use the pool like we did. And it's a really great way to spend the day on the south end of the island. So babe, what has been surprising about Big Corn Island so far? Hmm. Well, we knew it was going to be small, so I can't say that surprises me, but you really don't know how small until you get here. Um, it's really quaint. There's only so many little shops and restaurants to go to. Um, you can kind of explore the whole island in a few days, 
Um, what else? The language. Um, I knew it was different here, but the fact that pretty much everyone can speak English, pretty much everyone can speak some English, some Spanish, maybe some Mesquite, that's, that's definitely new. It doesn't feel like we're in Nicaragua anymore. Anything surprised you? Um, I also really do appreciate the distinct culture of the Corn Islands. It really is like a Caribbean culture. People are speaking English, but also English that I've never really heard before. So even when I'm speaking English with people, I have to ask them a few times to maybe repeat what they're saying. <laughs> um, and for me, you know, it's just a learning experience. I learn about a brand new culture. It's in the Caribbean. It feels different from the mainland of Nicaragua, that's for sure. And it's cool. <laughs> the accent is pretty strong here, but it's honestly so beautiful to listen to. I love listening to people talk here. You know, having lived in Florida for like a long time, um, I kind of had an image in my head of like Caribbean, resorty, kind of like super geared towards tourism. And it has not been like that here in Corn Island. It's much more local and it's, uh, you know, there aren't that many tourists to be honest. It's not like it's, um, it's not like a resort town at all. It's totally geared towards just local life. Everybody knows each other. Everybody knows how this uh, island works and you very much are an outsider, but not in a bad way. For sure. This is not the Bahamas. Nope. Today is our last day in Big Corn Island because tomorrow we go to Little Corn. Little Corn. Isn't that cute? Little Corn is only seven miles away, so we're gonna wake up early. We're gonna early. We're gonna catch a uh, 10 a.m. boat out to Little Corn. Should be about 30 minutes, and you'll see. We're really excited for Little Corn because there are no cars. Electricity is limited. Barely any Wi-Fi. So things will be a different pace in Little Corn Island. Crossing our fingers for some good weather. I think it should be said that this is a great example of how diverse Central America is. There is no single identity here. It is a mix of people and languages and cultures that has value, that's interesting, that is worth coming out to see and to learn about.